Come, babies! Mud! Is everybody here? You ready for breakfast? It's a beautiful sunny day with clouds. Come on, move your bottom. There you go, babies. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, one, two. We're missing some lambs. Double count. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, one, two. Yep, we're missing some lambs. They probably didn't hear my call. Isn't that right? Well, they're missing breakfast, aren't they? Isn't that right? Oh, are you gonna jump on my shoulder? Yep. Morning purry cat on my shoulder. He is a kitty. How are you? As I'm feeding lambs. <laughs> what a gorgeous sun. Oh, he was sticking his claws into my upper body. A little bit painful. So he has to go down. Now he's probably, he's got up on the fence and he's going to jump again. Are you going to jump again or did you have your lesson learned? Oh, I see, there's Hawthorne there. So if I go there, are you gonna jump? <laughs> see, that side's better. Cause I got the denim jacket on that side. Anyway, gotta go on and uh, feed the yos and hoggets and lambs that I'm keeping. Whoops! Come on. And see where the uh, missing lambs are. Well, there are the missing lambs. They just didn't hear my call. You missed out, babies. Yeah, missed out. I called and you missed. You'll just have to wait till supper. All your relations are having their lovely breakfast. Silly lambs. That spider certainly has a mighty grip. It's caught this bee literally by the wing. I think this is a uh, carpenter bee. 
or it could be a kind of hoverfly, I'm not sure. But literally, the spider has it by a wing. Look at the strength of that. Amazing. I heard the trapped buzzing of the bee and came over to see who'd caught it. Amazing. Okay, boys, I'm going to release you into here. Come on. Up into the orchard. Oh, look at the mineral lick. Yum, 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 yum. No, I don't have any food. There's lots of apples. You can go out and find loads of apples. See? Loads of apples. So I've not had sheep up here for a while. The great thing is the ash trees are falling their leaves. So the sheep will eat them. And that is hopefully a way of preventing ash dieback. Mmm. They all like bits of apple. But I want it. Look at her, she's shedding. I'm gonna have to start doing her grooming. <laughs> Come here, it's okay. I need to groom you. I need to start grooming you. You've got tail feathers. Anyway, the sheep are gonna be happy now. Lots of apples and clovers and grasses and herbs. They'll have a lovely time in the orchard now. For a little while, then they're gonna be moved to another field and then the yews and lambs that I'm keeping are gonna come up here. Handsome boy. I have literally just put the last steak in. I usually feed them a bit of feed up at the top to distract them while I move the fence. <laughs> Happy dance. Fresh grass. These glass mushrooms are always so amazing. They come up out of the soil very, very early in the morning. And we're not even at 11 o'clock in the morning.
and they're already gone over. So these are some of the fruiting bodies or flowers, if you will, of the mycorrhizal life that's under the soil. Isn't that right, dogs? So there's loads there. You can see there's more here. Here's, here's a different kind of mushroom here. This is a different mushroom. So a different mycorrhizal family, but they all live together. And that's the whole point. See, here's more of these glass mushrooms and they've gone over. They're so beautiful in the morning. So that's what's underneath the soil. So those are the flowers or the fruiting bodies of the life under the soil. So the plant or the fungus is under the soil. Anyway, this is where the horses, oh look, see, there's more. There's another one, beautiful little one. Beautiful mushrooms. So I'm walking back from where the horses had grazed and I get them to graze tight because I want to stimulate the clover and you can see the clover is very much stimulated. There's loads of clover. It is very late in the season. I'm just hoping, look at that clover there. We've just had such a cold year for any grass growth and lack of sun that the, um, it just hasn't been a growy season. You can see there's, these are white clovers. There's a flower, late season flower. But as I walk backwards in time from where the horse is grazed, you get more thicker grasses, areas of grasses. This would have been where the horses urinated. That's what urea does. If it's too much, that's where their pee landed. And that is, it burns. But the surrounding area, the grass grows really well because it's diluted. So that's the ur urine direct. And then it grows on there. You can see it's grown on here. It's also when the horse is in season. So you know that the horses were in season during this area. So you can see she peed. Who, whichever the mares was in season, she peed in a series of places and it burned the ground. But when we go backwards, the urea won't be a, a, an in-season horse urine. So we don't have burnt ground. But you can see the further back we go, the more grass there is and the taller and more growthy it is. But you see all the lumps, all those kind of lumps, that's where they peed. That's where the horse peed, P location, P location. So that's why urea became such a artificial contrived fertilizer was because it makes grass growthy. But you turn the horses or the sheep out here and they won't eat those areas because it's too rich. They'll eat it next year, but not this year. They'll eat all around where they urinated because it's just too rich for them. So there's, see that's a very urea location, very rich urine deposit. It's not where the manure is. The manure is normal growth. You can see there's, ur there's manure right there. It's decomposed a lot. A lot of the manure has gone back into the soil around here, but all these dark spots of growth, all of those lumps of growth, that's where the horse peed. And look at how you can see how tall the grass is against my boots compared to what it was like um, at the far end of the field where the horses were grazing more recently. And that's slowly regenerating and resting the soil. You can see the clovers are doing really well. Look at all these incredible mushrooms. That's because I had lots of wood chip under here that I would put down for the winter months because this was an entrance and exit area. But look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? There's such a beautiful kind of burnt orange color with the rims, but it's all 
all in here are all those mushrooms.